Judge Grindstump? Oh, please. No need to be so formal. In here, I'm just plain old W.P. Grindstump, owner and proprietor of Club 41. Ladies Night is looking a little, uh, grim. Well, it's early. Uh, once we got the buffet table laid out, this place will be hotter than the devil's knickers. <laughs> Aren't you a little upset that I'm running around free? Heavens, no! <laughs> what kind of pirate town would this be if we didn't condone the occasional jailbreak? What a remarkably progressive attitude. Besides, it's not as though you can really escape the swinging sword of Flotsam Justice. What with these blasted winds blowing in again? So you're really the owner of Club 41? Have been ever since I won it from the original owner in a dart tournament a few years back. Poor old guy never knew what hit him. And by hit him you mean... A dart! Right in the old noggin! Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. Brilliant! Will you be paying with doubloons, triploons, coupons, or flat same in fur shafts? Actually, I'm a little light right now. Oh, no problem. I'll start up a tab. Will? That's so unlike, well, every place I've ever been in my life. Well, it's not like you're going to skip town on me, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, I'm not as thirsty as I thought. Dar. Well, this has been a little strange, but uh, I've got a name to clear and a pox to cure. Ah, good luck with that. Not that I'm complaining, but why'd you turn down to Singe's contract to hunt down my wife? I may be a backstabbing mercenary, but even I have some standards. Sure, now you have standards. Shame they couldn't have shown up before you, oh, cut off my hand or knock me unconscious and drag me back to Flotsam Island. What can I say? I'm complicated. What did Desinge want with Elaine, anyway? You heard the man. Something to do with your unique strain of box. Guess he thinks your wife has it, too. You look uncharacteristically grim. Eh, it's been one of those days. Oh, I know what you mean. Betraying your childhood hero can really take it out of you. Hey, that was just business. Your business sucks more than the winds of Flotsam. Sometimes. What are those scary-looking drinks? They're a row of Blood Island volcano shots. They look painful. Only the first one. Yikes. I think you should know that I'm still really angry with you. Would it help if I bought you a drink? What, so you can poison me? I'll pass. I noticed that you're without pox. I'm pox free. Tested on a regular basis. Well, do you know why? Probably because I'm not really a pirate, since I'm a pirate hunter. Gotta like a pox that respects minor semantical distinctions. You know, if you have even a scintilla of a guilty conscience, I could really use your help. Listening? Well, there's this trial going on. So I've heard. Some guy was trying to tell me that it's the trial of the century! E, 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 Yeah, e. well, I could really use some trumped-up evidence. Or a few intimidated witnesses. Or maybe a well-placed briber tent? You couldn't afford me. Of course. How silly of me. It's all about the pieces of eight with you, isn't it? Not always. I also accept pieces of nine. Well, I can see you've got inner demons to wrestle with, so I'll just get on with my life. Thanks. And watch out for DeSinge. That thing he did with his finger was unnatural. Hey, WP. Captain Threepwood, what can I do you for? Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. What'll it be? Set me up with a line of Blood Island volcano shots. Me pleasure. These come with our complimentary Club 41 insulated volcano shot glasses. Hewn out of molten lava. They can keep hot liquids hot for a week. Impressive. Ooh, 
That's some hot grog on grog action. I'll just save this last one for later. Nice dartboard. Isn't it, though? Ah, it was one of the few things I managed to salvage when I was washed ashore on Flotsam all those years ago. Can I play around? Unfortunately, the darts were lost a few weeks ago, during a bar fight. <coughs> and pity, too. What with the annual Flotsam Island Dart Tournament tomorrow night? Hmm. How about some more of those volcano shots? Sorry, uh, one per customer. Uh... I wonder what happened to Murray. Nothing like a little hot wax on a cold flotsam night. Well, that's a strange place for a sugar sack. I keep it up there to draw away the ants. Ooh. Now that the winds are blowing in again, Flotsam Island is once more soaking up most of the pox of the chuck. Now that the winds are blowing... Now that the... Now that... That lamp is leaking oil. Not just any oil. Manatee oil. Oh, that's not right. I don't need a cup of that. almost feel guilty about this. Almost. Who goes there? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Oh, Councillor Threepwood! <laughs> What can I do for you? No hard feelings about being humiliated in open court? No worries, mate. I've been humiliated so often it's kind of second nature to me by now. Great. Besides, I didn't really think it was much of a case anyway. But that Stan fella, he seemed to think I could make a pretty piece of it off of your untimely execution. So I figured, what the heck? doing on Flotsam Island anyway? Well, <coughs> after that series of misadventures on Spinner K, I found myself without a captain or a ship. Sorry about that. Eh, it happens. So I drifted for a bit before landing here on Flotsam. <coughs> now I've hired on as Judge Grindstump's personal bailiff slash chef, creating all sorts of new delicacies for his nightclub. It's a bit of a dream come true, it is. How's the pox of the truck treating you? Oh, it's not so bad. I mean, there is the incessant drive to commit acts of monstrous evil, of course. It's a bit of a drag on the social life. But my pillaging swing has never been better. So, well, I guess you could say it's a bit of a wash. <coughs> hmm. Tell you one thing I didn't expect. The slaw cravings. I mean, honestly, mate, what's that all about? I'd like to go into the jungle. I need to talk to a large Buddha lady about a not-so-large sponge. Sorry, mate. I'm afraid I can't allow prisoners to wander out into the jungle. You might get lost or go into hiding. But I'm not a prisoner. I'm the prisoner's attorney, Guybrush Threefoot, mighty pirate at law. Hmm. Well, that is a stumper, all right. But uh, just to be on the safe side, I think it would be for the best if I kept both Guybrush Threefords out of the jungle until their trials are over. That's 
really um something. Hey, isn't she a beauty? It's a prototype by swashbuckling and Susie, long lasting leg limp. <laughs> that crystal on top will glow for days. Don't you think it's a little tacky? Ah, pirates love this kind of stuff. What's that? Arr, you best watch your step. That'd be a puddle of molten glass. It'll cool down in a few seconds, but until it does, it'll melt your boots off. I better get some of this before it cools. doing up there anyway. Ooh. Bizzly, you know, if I was a little more scientifically inclined, I might be worried about the effects this stuff is having on any future generations of three points. It's Jacques, the electromagnetic monkey. <laughs> Bacon grease is still burning. I just got to get some of this incredible bacon grease. There. Now my jacket and my pants smell like bacon. Who's there? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Oh, Councillor Threepwood! <coughs> what can I do for you? I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then, let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honorable Wallace P. Grindstump presiding. Let's keep it moving, Captain Threepwood! I'd like to recall Bosun Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs! Now remember, darling, you're still under oath. I.
You're lying about this whole nacho business, aren't you? Nay, are you lying about being a mighty pirate? I'll ask the questions here. Just a moment, Your Honor. Your Honor, I'd like to introduce this leg lamp into evidence as proof that Bosun Catherine Krebs is lying about her so-called nacho sauce burn. This proves nothing! Objection, Your Honor. The scars on this leg-shaped lamp may look like my clients, but who knows how they got there? I'm glad you asked. So you see, Your Honor, Catherine's distinctive burns were not caused by Club 41's nacho sauce, but by an unlikely combination of scalding fluids found throughout Flotsam Island. Isn't that true, Bosun Krebs? Answer the question, <laughs> you she-devil! It's true. After Guybrush knocked that platter of nachos onto my lap, I saw my chance for revenge and concocted this foolish scheme. Revenge? You still don't remember me? The woman whose ship you sunk? Who spent years languishing in prison for your crimes? The woman whose husband you humiliated in that creepy karaoke contest? Nope. Sorry. Drawing a blank. Darr! Your Honor, I move that Bosun Catherine Krebs's charge be dropped. Counselor! I got nothing, Your Honor. Very well! In the matter of Krebs versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam Island finds in favor of the defendant Guy Brush Threepwood! Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff! Please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig! Aye aye, Your Honor! Hey, guard! What do you want? I want to see my lawyer. Again? I'm not getting any smarter.